GPT 3.5 was one of the most important technological breakthroughs of the last decades. But now, two years and almost as many re-releases of GPT-4 as there are versions of GTA 5 later and there is still no sign of GPT-5. That's why today we will be doing a deep investigation to find out what's going on and why I believe there is a huge possibility that no model, which will be called GPT-5, will be released anytime soon. While GPT 3.5 was what started the entire AI hype train, GPT 4 was a very good improvement. I especially noticed myself much better coding capabilities and it also introduced vision, which allowed me to implement new use cases such as data extraction and also image classification. However, um, we seem to be left waiting for the next breakthrough. And it's not like OpenAI has been standing still, as since GPT-4 they have introduced many new model variants. For example, we have GPT-4.0 and GPT-4.0 Mini, which reduced inference time and cost. We got O1 and O1 Mini, which are better at reasoning tasks, such as mathematics and coding, at the cost of taking longer to answer. And also on the product and user interaction side, we got conversation memories, which I personally find very useful. And you can ask like some fun things like, what should I get myself as a Christmas present? And it can often come up with more interesting ideas than I even would have thought of myself. Um, there is also now DALI integration, an advanced voice mode, which is very impressive, but I don't use it myself that often. And we also got a GPT search lately, and I find this very useful and it's been slowly replacing my reliance on Google. However, models such as O1 are only better uh, than GPT-4.0 at certain tasks, which require a lot of reasoning. And also the competition has seemed to be caught up. For example, for coding tasks, I now prefer the Anthropic Cloud models over GPT-4.0. And this makes me wonder, when is the next GPT foundational model coming out? What's taking OpenAI so long to release GPT-5? So let's first focus on what we do know about GPT-5. As recently there was a Reddit AMA with the OpenAI team, and I went through all the questions and answers and this is what I found out. First off, um, there will be no GPT-5 this year, so even though OpenAI is doing like 12 days of OpenAI right now, we know for sure uh, GPT-5 or a model called like that won't be released. Also, OpenAI confirmed they are working on supporting longer context windows, which requires training a new model, of course. So um, it's not that groundbreaking to assume that the new GPT-5 model will also have increased context sizes, as even models such as Gemini Pro already support a context size of 2 million tokens, and OpenAI can't be left behind. Also, for those of you who are wondering whether GPT-5 will finally solve hallucinations, OpenAI also confirmed, as we all know, that this is a very hard problem, so I wouldn't expect GPT-5 to magically fix this. It's also basically confirmed that GPT-5 won't do inference time uh, scaling, such as the O1 models, and that the reasoning models will probably stay separate from the foundation models for the foreseeable future. Also, OpenAI says that it expects that the next giant breakthrough will not be any model, such as GPT-5, but that it will rather be agents. Although the AMA is pretty long, these were the only uh, questions and answers which I could link to GPT-5. The rest of the AMA does give us some other interesting info, such as that Sora was uh, delayed to, due to increased compute costs, but if I had to guess, Sora will be announced as part of this 12 days of OpenAI, so I expect it soon. We will also get more voice capabilities, such as making the model sing. And um, ChatGPT will also be able to render HTML and 3D objects within the chat window. 
OpenAI also says that proactive communication will be an important focus in 2025, which in my opinion will also be very important if I am using such a coding agent, for example. I want it to message me first when it needs to um, know something from me. So I'm glad they are working on that. And last but not least, Sam also thinks that AGI will still be achievable on the current hardware, but as everyone got a different definition of AGI and the goalposts also just keep moving, I don't really exactly know what this implies. When I was reading the AMA, I was wondering why is there so much focus recently on uh, creating alternative model versions and announcing many more product features. As in the past few years before GPT-40, the strategy had always been just create a GPT model with more parameters, train for longer with more data and more compute. And this approach aligned perfectly with the conclusions of the essay The Better Lesson, which argued that for the past 70 years, using compute intensive general purpose methods to solve problems, such as for example using a search method in computer chess or deep learning for computer vision, have consistently outperformed special purpose methods that are less compute in intensive. Sam is also a very big proponent of this essay and the conclusions were actually once again confirmed with GPT 3.5 and 4, which once again the transformers are trained in a very general way and they outperform a lot of specialized algorithms that want to do the same task. And also when you look at, for example, the full self-driving approach of Tesla, we can also see that they abandoned their um, rule-based approach with a lot of knowledge and assumptions about the world for a more general end-to-end um, -end neural network approach. However, um, now this method seems to be having some problems as there are many rumors that OpenAI is actually hitting scaling limits with GPT-5 which is codenamed uh, Orion. And OpenAI doesn't seem to be the only one facing this issue as employees of Google and Anthropic have also reported that both their companies are shifting their focus from uh, pre-training to techniques such as multi-step inference, which we also see with the O1 models. For example, I am also wondering, uh, Cloud 3.5 is very good, but where is Cloud 3.5 Opus? It's also rumored that, for example, um, that when the OpenAI was training Orion, which was meant to be GPT-5, that one quarter through the training, they saw that they had a model that was performing on par with GPT-4, but after the training had completed, they saw that it was only a little bit better than GPT-4. So that's why many are thinking that we are actually reaching a dead end by just doing more pre-training of the base model. And this is also the vision of, for example, Francois Cholet, which is the creator of the Keras library. And for example, he argues that LLM scaling has hit a limit and it's actually obstructing our progress towards AGI as he thinks that just scaling LLMs with more parameters and training for longer does not ne necessarily increase the intelligence of the system, but just makes it have more memory to remember more facts rather than really learning and understanding the content. Also, Jan Lacun, um, the chief AI scientist at Meta, is also very uh, skeptical that LLMs will actually bring us to general intelligence. Some other evidence that OpenAI might be having some issues with just uh, scaling the base models is that uh, George Hotz uh, claimed that GPT-4 is actually uh, not a single model, but actually a mixture of experts models, a mixture of expert model, which is running eight times a 220 uh, billion parameter model, which is around the size of GPT-3. And the mixture of expert model will then um, how the way it works, it is it will only selectively use um, certain models depending on the question. And according to him, this is a trick which um, you basically do when you don't find any other methods of scaling. So based on all of this, 
I expected we will actually get this Orion model, which will include a longer context window very soon. I expect it to be released either at the end of this 12 days of OpenAI, which will be around the same time as the two year anniversary of GPT 3.5, or that it will come out in the first half of next year. But I do expect that this model will not be called GPT-5, as um, GPT-5, the name, carries too much weight, and if they just release a very uh, incremental increase in capabilities, that could actually negatively impact the company, as the name GPT-5 uh, uh, has so much weight. That's why I expect it will just be called Orion or something else. As the largest GPT-3 version has 175 billion parameters, and if the calculation of George Hotz is correct, GPT-4 has 1.7 trillion parameters, I think it's safe to say that the Orion model will once again have this 10 times increase in parameters, so in total it will be around 17 trillion parameters. I also expect that this will once again then be a mixture of experts model which will contain many models the size of GPT-4 which uh, smartly work together. I also believe that, they, that the context uh, window will be very long, at least uh, 2 million tokens as OpenAI can stay behind Google and a large context window is also very important for RAG and as they say they want to um, uh, focus more on agentic workflows. We basically need this large context windows to store all the actions that the agents can do. I also expect that Orion will be multimodal right from the start as this is what we're used to and GPT-4 also had this at the release. If the scaling rumors are actually true, I don't expect that GPT-5 will be ready even next year as it will require much more training and OpenAI simply can't risk just releasing a slightly better model as GPT-5. What we do know for sure is that OpenAI is definitely shifting their focus more on agentic features and product features which might indicate that they have some problems scaling these models. Either way, I'm very excited to what, for what 2025 will bring. I like to build many cool products using the OpenAI API, so I'm actually mostly interested in just uh, cheaper uh, models with faster inference time, which can still perform as well as GPT-4.0. And I definitely think in the near future we will have those models. So basically, if there is one thing that I'm looking forward to in 2025, is a better version of GPT-4.0 Mini, which is even uh, cheaper, faster, and has increased capabilities. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave down in the comments below what you think about GPT-5. Do you think it will be um, that Orion was actually GPT-5 and we will get that? And what do you think about when the real GPT-5 will come out?